Welcome to my tutorial of how to put any image on any surface in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so you'll need a new part. Or well, you can use an existing part, any part. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna draw a, like a small room, like a bathroom. And I'm gonna put in a, a tile. So, if we select front, um, top plane here, and then let's make it let's make it three meters because that's three thousand by let's say two and a half meters going to zoom out there okay, i'm gonna make an extruded boss we can make it a hundred don't really matter um now i'm just going to draw some walls okay to do this i'm gonna offset it by zero to outline the, the outline and I'm going to offset again by 110 because it's the thickness of a wall which is going to reverse and I'm gonna take a square here. then I'll cut this, cut that, cut that um, let me just, oh, I think I'm going to remove this as well. And I'll just cut this out. Okay, then. I'm going to extrude again. So the height of my wall is going to be 2.75 um, meters. Okay, so here we have, like, a small room right so I'm gonna tile this whole place so what I'm gonna do is you select your, your your surface which you want the image to be on you click here on I think it's appearance well it's this ball yeah it's appearance of scenes and decals then so what you do is you you select um, for the, with this plus plus sign to open the thing you can well, what I usually do I select stone and paving then you can select that now there is what asphalt or whatever but we don't want that so what you do is you click on advanced you scroll down where it says image file path then you say browse now I've got a tile saved here this tile it says 600 by 600 and what I'm going to do is, so there, there's my tile, but the thing is, now you go to mapping. And I want it to be 600 by uh, 600. I think it's going to change now. Okay, so you say, don't, don't, don't fix, <laughs> you, you untick the fix aspect ratio, because otherwise if you change one, the other one's also going to change. So I put in 600 there. So now I know it is 600 by 600. Then you can you can move your tile wherever you want it. Okay, let, let, let me move it so it starts there in the corner. And I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I want it shiny. So I'm gonna um, say illumination. Then you scroll down to where it says reflection amount. We're gonna reflect it by let's say 0. 0, 0.050 0. Um, then you say okay so there's my one uh, there's my floor tile now I want to tile the wall what I'm going to do I'm going to do exactly the same um, I'm just going to let it be normal too uh, I, I, I selected my wall here and I'm going to click there again on the little colorful ball you're going to select paving, asphalt, and then you're going to scroll all the way down, image path, and select your image you want to put on there. And I'm going to go to mapping. I'm going to take off the fixed aspect ratio. I'm going to make it 600 by 600. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to line up the... Um, the grouting lines. So if you line it up nicely, I'll 
closing dot. <laughs> then I think I want it a little bit higher. So it's the full length of the tile. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in very close. Okay, like so. Then illumination, uh, reflection amount, make it 0 0.12, 0 0.05. So, okay, I'm gonna do this wall as well. Exactly the same we just did. Um, you select your, your, your thingy there, go to image path and select your image you want to put on there. I want to put it in the style. Go to mapping, take off fixed aspect ratio. I make this as well 600 by 600. And then for the illumination, I want it to be zero or the reflection 0 0.05. Okay, but I want to change this now. So I want to line it up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the one part with the other part. Let me just take it all the way all the way down so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, the one grout line with the other grout line up there, a little bit left. I think that is perfect. So there I've got a, a tiled place, and then to see how it's going to look like, what you do is you click on Office Products, Photo View 360, go to Render Tools. You can have a preview window see what it's going to look like in real life and there is my my tiling <laughs> i don't think it's reflecting enough let me i'm going to change it so it reflects more uh, illumination let's make it make it 0 0.1 let me just see if it actually does something um, you can you can play around with this and get exactly what you want. Um, let me make it like so, and I'm gonna preview window again, see what it looks like, and you can actually see a reflection in it now. So that is how you put in put on any image you want. Now usually what I do is. If you want to trace something, I'll put an image on something and I trace it so I can get the shape. You can just copy it and paste it in a new uh, part file and then you have whatever you need. So I hope this helps. Um, if it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> if it did, uh, leave a like and a comment and subscribe for more tutorials.